who are drawing in successive economic crisis and Tehran tragic situation after the Iran policies have imposed extensive economic sanction against that. The Iranian regime and its military arm, represented by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, are moving toward the gas fields with the help of the Hamadain organization to compensate for the losses due to the embargo on oil exports imposed in Tehran and the withdrawal of the major Western companies after the reimposition of the U.S. sanction on the country. Muhammad, head of Khatim al Anbiya headquarters of the Revolutionary Guard, which owns a group of companies under the name that carries out giant energy projects in Iran, said his group is ready to replace the French company Total in the development of the 11th phase of the gas field parts with the help of Qatar in the Gulf, the main project of a hydrocarbon in Iran. The Revolutionary Guard, by exploiting the sanctions imposed on Tehran, is expanding its dominance of the economy following the failure of Hassan Rahwani's government to improve the economy and the crisis Iran faces following the withdrawal of the U.S. President Donald Trump from the nuclear deal last year, bridges that communication with the country system and control rights of the country and their natural will. In light of the dire economic situation of the Iranian regime, El Hamarin is talking cover to secure movement the international sanctions imposed on him through the use of a joint field with Qatar to supply more oil and its derivatives in order to reap more money and spend that on terrorist tools and its armed militias region. Al Hamadin, through this policy supporting Iran's economy, confirmed that his political and military support for the Iranian militias deployed in a various country of the region has a new demonization today with a financial contraption to feed Iran's coffer that support these militias financially and logistically through military equipment and monthly salaries of the leaders and members of these militias.